Hello CC, so today we are going to talk about feminine hygiene, feminine wash, and how to sell it. So, alam ko na minsan kapag hindi nyo alam kung paano gamitin yung product, eh medyo natataranta kayo. And minsan din kapag wala kayong idea kung paano siya i-explain sa mga buyers, eh medyo um, nagiging awkward kapag nag-uusap na kayo. Like, pampasikit ba yan? Usually, yung mga nagtatanong yan ay yung may mga jowa, yung may mga asawa. But, then wash is not just for couples. It's also for teens, for youngsters, yung mga mabahing, you know, maalaga sa katawan. Sila yung usually naghahanap nito. So, let's try to break the ice. Let's try to break the mindset of online sellers today. Okay? So, Anong iba yung boys ka? Anyway, let's go to the topic. Aww. Let's talk about the anatomy and physiology of vulva or vagina. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so let's talk about that emming body part, okay? That emming body part has um, a weird smell. So for first timers, like youngsters, teenagers, mental awkward yung amoy. But as you know, you grow older and you know the cleanest smell of your eme, you will know na mabango siya. You will easily, you know, um, know the difference between that weird smell and that stinky smell. Okay, so if you have that stinky smell, go to the doctor very quick. Ask the doctor, 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 shall I die? And the doctor will say, oh my darling, do not cry, you will not die. You just have an infection. You just have an infection. <laughs> so, for you to avoid infection, you must know how to wash that eme and how to or what to use to protect your eme. What are the things that you can eat to keep it healthy? And lastly, we are going to talk about the most requested product for this video. It's Pinky! Yay! Yeah, the super last last na talaga. Aside from the fact that we are going to discuss this, I'm also going to give you some tips on how to sell feminine body. Let's go to how to wash your private area. So if you're going to wash it, you should first wash your hands properly because your hands may carry bacteria and you know, pwede mo siyang madalag dun sa area, sa private area mo and it will cause infection. And aside from that, you should wash the inner part with water only. Mga bash, mga sis, and mga... Hmm, alam nyo na. Yung inner part, alam mo nyo na yung inner part. Alam mo na yun. Yung inner part, you should wash it with water only. And after that, you can wash the surroundings with soap and water. So how are we going to do that? So make the soap foamy, and that's the one that you're going to use. So you apply it first dun sa madamadamo mong part. Okay? So I know I understand that not all want it shaved or or lasered. So dun sa mga madamadamo pa dyan, dun mo siya apply first. So hugasan mo muna yun, and then next na, pababa. You only use the soap in the surrounding. Aww. And sing it. Yun yung part na medyo sweaty. So yun yung part na medyo may odor. Kaya yun ka dapat mag-concentrate. Okay? So kapag naman red day mo, you should try to um, use it including the inner part. Pero hindi naman yung hindi naman at least inner part at least once a day. So hindi siya yung hindi siya yung every time na iihi ka, you have to put soap in it. So it's not that. Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> now, there are some things that you might want to eat before you do the 365 with your jowa. You should try to eat food rich in probiotics and fruits before, like, a week before makbakan. But, it's not, as like I've said before, it's not just about, you know, for couples. But, if you want to keep your AMA healthy and, you know, if you want to um, keep it fresh, you should try to eat more fruits and vegetables and avoid meat and spices. Especially, 
Now let's go to the feminine wash. Yay! Now, yes, I've tried it. Um, I used it before and I stopped lang ako kasi nag-try din ako ng ibang product. So, I can say na ito talaga ay maganda. And alam ko na madami sa inyo ang na madami sa inyo ang user and pusher. Okay. So, like I've said doon sa previous kong uh, doon sa previous kong video, you should read the label. So, it's Pink Secret Feminine Wash Hyaluronic Acid with Collagen. So when I say um, when we say it has collagen, it's good for the skin. If you're going to read the back part of this, you're going to see that it provides deep cleansing to kill bacteria to prevent both vaginal and urinary tract infection. So if you don't know how to wash your emmet properly, then you will misunderstand this. So it's this is not a treatment. This is not a medicine. This is just um, a soap. Feminine wash. So. Ang ibig niya sabihin, it can prevent you from getting rose by simply washing the surroundings of your genital area. So, nababawasan nito yung chance mo na magkaroon ng UTI and vaginal infection. The good thing about this one is meron siyang expiration date and manufacturing date, but there's no instruction on how to use it. I personally would recommend to use this once daily, but if you have like, if it's your red day, menstruation day, you can use it twice. Okay? Do not put this directly to your vagina. Okay? So, it will not, if you have this infection or if you already have, if you already have an infection, you cannot use this as a treatment. Let's go to the most intriguing part kapag pindera ka ng isang feminine wash. Nakakasikit ba ito? Yan yung usual yung tanong ng mga buyers, di ba? So the truth is, hindi siya nakakasikip. But, if you're going to use it daily, if you're going to be, you know, to keep your vagina healthy, then it causes a good feedback. Pag mas healthy, kapag mas healthy ang ano mo, mas healthy din ang yung sex life. So if you don't have, so if you don't have infection, yeast infection, whatever, you know, whatever kind of infection, na nagkakos ng itchiness, ng pain, during or after sex, then you are going to have a good, good. Alam mo na yun. When someone's buying a feminine wash, so when someone's buying a feminine wash to you, you should also be honest. Na hindi lahat ng babae eh nababagayan or nagiging comfortable sa isang um, brand or feminine wash. So um, you should try to let them use it for like a couple of days and see if it's effective for them. Pag hindi effective, like the cause ng itchiness or um, painful urination, then they should stop using it. Okay? So, don't forget to say this. Consult your doctor before using any feminine wash. Para safe ka. Yan ang dapat kapag nagtitinda. Okay? Don't forget, kahit sa mga rejuvenating cells, kahit sa ano pang product, you should always try to say na if you are sensitive with a certain product, please do not use it. So, it's not just about Benta. It's not just about it's not just about gaining profit. It's about caring for your buyer. So if you care for your buyer, they will buy again. Ganun po yun. So I hope may natutunan kayo today and I hope to see you again on my next vlog. Bye!